So robotics are not just helping us uh, here on Earth. Autonomous vehicles are enabling us to explore the solar system uh, itself. But traversing other planets isn't so easy. To take a look at how planetary rovers might better estimate driving energy based on vision, I'm joined by Dr. Shoya Higa. Uh, Dr. Higa, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's very appreciated. <laughs> it's a great uh, pleasure. So why is uh, estimating driving time uh, actually important? So because the future Mars rover could be solar powered and also expected the long distance driving, we need to energy optimal path planning. So as a first step for the energy optimal path planning, we need to predict the how much energy consumes before robot travels. So that's the main part of our research. Uh, what's wrong with the existing way of uh, doing it? So existing way would be, um, so using the, some sensor value, then estimate the, what the current energy or the simply measure the energies from the robot sensors. But the, there is no way to predict the, you know, since the robot is not there, so how we know the energy consumption before robot there. And how much do you think that uh, new way of doing things is actually going to help uh, exploration of Mars? So I believe that's, that's a very good question. And uh, that's really helpful, you know, if the robot travels, you know, the hilly area and the robot may want to select the sun facing area to choose the energy charging and uh, if the current way using the robot probably select the distance minimum path. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, you brought it with you, so maybe you could uh, show us a little bit of, uh, yeah, of sure. your uh, innovation. Okay. So here is uh, our Argon field test movie. So first, the robot set the RGB map, the XYZ map, and this combined, and we set the path here, and each path contains RGB and XYZ patch. Then this is the result from the, our network. And the black line shows the ground truth, the current measurement. And uh, this blue and the orange shaded area is the actual prediction side. So you can see this is the climbing sandy slope area. And uh, we made the tram mechanics net energy net. And select mechanics net is pretty much better than the energy nets then. Something like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, so what's the next step for your research? So um, I would say we we'll expand this algorithm to the path planning side, so that the robot can plan the where he or she should go. Right. So, yeah. And 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 what sort of timescales are we looking at then for uh, the kind of wider exploration of Mars using this technology? Uh, not quite close, but the yeah future Mars rover, uh, probably after the uh, Mars 2020 rover, there is a Mars sample return rover. We are aiming to putting this together by then, but the, we'll see. Okay. Maybe a little bit later, but the, after then, you know, probably this technology could go to the Mars or Luna or somewhere, yeah. Well, thank you very much indeed for sharing it with us today. Yeah, so thank you so much. Fascinating, thank you yeah. very much. Thank you.